Hi guys, uh, in this video I'm going to be looking at how we can use the sample builder to play sound inside our application. Um, now I'm going to dive straight in so we can see why we'd want to use the sample builder instead of the old method. Oh, and, if, and if you're unsure about how to use the sample, we already have um, a video explaining how to use it and you can find it in the link in the, in the description below. So I'm going to create a new project, an application name, I'm going to call it sound builder demonstration, sample builder. And I'm going to use API 17, this is my minimum SDK, blank activity, and just going to leave these default. <coughs> okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to quickly create a raw folder to put our sounds in. Um, so if I go right click on resources, new Android resource directory, and resource type, it's going to be a raw, and it rename it to rename the directory to raw. And there's our raw folder, and I'm going to quickly pop a, a sound in. Um, I'm just going to go for this one here. So copy, paste, and just going to leave that. Remember to leave the. Make sure it's all lowercase. So okay, that's there's our file and that's ready to be used. Okay, so if I go to in our main activity, just under our, just inside our main class, I'm going to set up a, a sound pool object. I'm going to call it my sound. Okay, so then on, on, on create method, just under our set content view, I'm going to set my sound equal to new sound pool. Now, it's, here it's 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 um, saying let's put lines through sound pool and stating that it's deprecated. Now, although if you do use this method, it still will it still will run, it still will work. Um, but what we can do here is we can add what are called attributes. So under our old system, we'd say max, maximum streams is ten, and then we'd use uh, define our stream type. Uh, so we've got these different stream types that we can define as what the what the uh, music's what the sounds for. But what we can do with uh, a new sample builder is we can define extra att uh, more att attributes, such as uh, usage and content type. Now I'll, I'll go through that in, in just a second. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just delete that, and then I'm going to say sample dot builder, and then we can we can build our our um our sample uh, object. So if I just if I just say build dot build and just go with that, what this will do is it will automatically define the default attributes and the default stream type. So if in our old method where we defined how many the maximum amount of streams that we could use. This build will just default the maximum streams to one. So, unless you've literally got one sound to play, and you'll only ever have one sound to play at any one time, really you want to set your um, maximum streams. So, what we can do is we can go set max streams, and we specify how many streams we we can play we can play at any at any one time. Now, what we can do is I'm just going to bring that down there. And then we can go dot build, and it will build that. And what it would, what it will do here is it will. Whereas in the old in the old method we define the the, uh, the stream type. In this method it allows us to go just a little bit a little bit further, and define content type and the usage. Now this is all new in um, the API 21 and ver ver version code Lollipop, um, and usage in information, which is. Uh, uh, more expressive than than a stream type, and uh, it defines how the audio system handles uh, routing, uh, volume, and focus decisions for the specified source. And the content type uh, it, it defines what the sound is. Is it music? Is it a movie? Is it speech? Uh, you don't have to you don't have to define it, but if you do know what the content type is, then this information might be used. It might be used by the audio framework to selectively configure um, some audio post pressing post post processing blocks, but you don't need to define it. It will automatically, if you don't define it, if you don't define the, the stream type, set it will automatically set the usage to media. <coughs> but we'll we'll, we'll we'll set it and we'll see what we'll, so we we'll see what we're, we're doing. So we need to set auto uh, audio attributes. Now inside here, it's going to want the name of, uh, of of what you're passing in. Now we need to create 
uh, some more audio attributes. So just above just above here, we're going to create an audio attributes object, and I'm going to call it um, uh, no, I'll call, call it AA audio attributes, and it's equal to a new audio attributes. So I'm going to use the builder. Okay, so what I can do here is set content type. Now inside here I want to use audio attributes dots and it's all the different content types. We've got music, we've got mu movie, we've got this sonification which is bizarre. We've got um speech, or we've got unknown. So you don't you don't have to define these, but if you don't define them it would it would just default to this the uh, this content type of, I think it defaults to unknown. So we'll say if we know what it is, let's just say it's uh it's it's a it's music. Let me just specify that's music. So you don't have to you don't have to specify these. Um, we've also got uh, usage. What what is the uh, sound being used for? So again, if we type audio audio attributes. And you've got these usages, so it's a game or alarm, and you've got all these media. If you don't define again, if you don't define the usage, it would de it would default to uh, usage media. So we've got all these different um, usage usages. Is that even a word? Usages. Um, but again, you don't have to define it. If you don't, it would default to usage me usage media. So let's say we know it's a, we're using it for a game. So we'll just say game, and finally we just dot build and there's our audio attributes set up so we've got content type we've got a usage um, and our name is AA so our name of our objects AA so inside here we just pass in AA so that's that's if you want to use this so you don't have to use this but if like I say if you know the information it's worth just worth put, putting it in so it's a slightly slightly more um, informative way of of then the old the old method of, of defining the the uh, stream uh, we want to just finish that just end that off just space this out okay now so what we'll do now is we'll load up the sound my sound dot load this r dot raw dot explode and priority one semicolon and we'll create an integer value for our sound ID that gets returned by the load method. We call this uh, explode ID. And explode ID equals. Okay, so it's um, it's complaining here because it's saying that the call requires API level 21. So these audio attributes and this builder is only applicable to API level 21. And the current minimum is 17. So if we have a device that's say pure level 17, this won't work. We'll just it'll just come up an error. So what we need to do is we need to generate an if an if statement. Now our if statement needs to check the build version of our of the device's uh, SDK um, API. So if we go build build dot version dot and we want this SDK and this is our uh, user visible SDK version of the framework so if this is more or equal to build dot version codes dot lollipop Ooh. so if the version is higher or the same as lollipop then to run to to, to uh, execute the following so we'll generate these we'll just pop this inside there so cut and paste else if it's low if it's a lower version so if it's um, API 20 or lower then what we'd have here is our old sample um, uh, call so my sound calls new 
sample so 10 audio manager dot string music comma 1 and then copy paste and now it's happy because the minimum version is 17 so all it will do is we'll check this it'll say it's 17 it'll come down to there and use the old sample method and now we need to do is just create our button let's call it play sound on click method called play sound create the method just pull up up here my sound dot play our explode ID comma left volume comma right volume priority no loops and standard flow rate let me just check that make sure it runs and just careful this is I think this might be quite loud and there we go there's our sound so like I said you don't you don't have to create these audio attributes so we don't really functionally it will still work if we just set this what I'll do is I'll turn the sound down there we go so that's using the sound sample builder um, I tried to make it as, as, as clear as possible I, I hope you followed it okay and um, thanks for watching thanks for subscribing